candle in celebration of light coming into our hearts and the world. Come away, come away to Bethlehem. Come with wonder, come with awe. Take your place among sheep and cattle. Let us sing with joy, praise God, for the time of promise has come. Sing the good news of Emmanuel, God with us. The Christ has come. Hey. 
Let us be in prayer together. You are great, O God, and greatly to be praised. You welcome us when no one else has a place for us. All our grief and delight find a place in the stable. Your gifts reach us amid life's deepest shadows, and your light breaks into our lives, surprising us and leading us on new paths. We welcome you with joy in this precious child and offer you our thanks and praise. In your many names, amen.
The people who have walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation, you have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the trampling warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor, David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom, 
there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, how can this be? I am a virgin. The angel said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. Then Mary said, Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth to Galilee in Judea, to Bethlehem the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. 
And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being with him, and without him was not anything made. What had come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness did not overcome it. There was one sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. 
the true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of mortals, but of God. And the Word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory as of a Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. Family and friends, the fullness of time is come. The big moment that reveals the meaning of human history and the purpose of all our lives shines forth in this radiant night. In the light of Christmas, in the moment of Christmas, we find the heart of the gospel message, Emmanuel, God with us. As any child knows, and as many of us who are adults remember, Christmas is well worth the wait and full of surprises. We never know, do we, just when or how Christmas comes to us, but God's light always breaks through in our lives in amazing ways. And God promises us that God will break through again to us on this holiest of nights. The mystery and the meaning of the Christ breaks into our lives at any moment. We may see it reflected in one of the various forms of enthusiastic human love. The eyes of parents glowing with affection for their children in the laughter of kids as they race downstairs on Christmas morning, in the blossoming love of a newly engaged couple, or in the excited cries of one returning home from college just in time for Christmas, that late plane finally arrives. And the light of Christmas and the light of love doesn't end with us, with only us. We find ourselves on this night praying for and committing ourselves to the vision of the world in which the light of Emmanuel shines in the dark and lonely places on our planet. Tonight, let the light shine in refugee camps and war zones, in hospitals and homeless shelters, and in a rented hotel room for one. Let the story of Christmas come alive in each one of us tonight. We've heard the words, we've sung the carols, and we've wished each other, even as we walked in here this evening, Merry Christmas. But now it's up to us to carry this amazing message of love, hope, and peace into our own lives and into all the world. Let the light shine tonight throughout the world. May we begin to trust in this moment anew in God who enters into our humble lives over and over again. May the promises, the eternal promises of Emmanuel be born in us tonight. Fear cannot conquer our hope. Hate will be overpowered by love. And no darkness can overwhelm the light come into the world. We've been reading poetry throughout Advent and even this evening, the poet captures the moment. 
Hear these words from Lucy Shaw. Glimmers of stars have flickered all year long, and now at its close, when the planets are shining through frost, radiance runs like music in the bones, and the heart keeps rising at the sound of any song, or with a silver calling of a bell rounding high and clear, flying, falling, sounding the death knell of our old year, telling the new appearing of Christ, our morning star. Now burst all our bell throats, toll the clapper tongue, stun the still night. Jesus gleams through our high heart note. It is no fable. It is Christ whose light glistens in each song sun and in the true returning again to the stable of all of us, shepherds, sages, women and men, common and faithful, wealthy and wise, with carol on hearts, and suddenly, tonight, stars in our eyes. O come, all ye faithful. O come, all ye faithful. Come to Bethlehem this night, for Christ is born. Let us rise and sing together.
although one of you might not want to be seated. There's a blue Subaru wagon whose lights are on, I think. The license plate is 7AWF757. On this night, as we celebrate the birth of Jesus, we are reminded of the love Christ brought to this world. By contributing to our Christmas offering, we each have an opportunity to honor and spread the love of Christ by sharing what we have with others. Our offering tonight goes to support the work of six organizations, Doctors Without Borders, Yay Homeless Youth Services, the Berkeley Food and Housing Project, East Bay Sanctuary Covenant, the Center for Independent Living, and the Berkeley Creative Wellness Center. Your gift to the Christmas offering will be shared among these organizations to support their important work. If you'd like to write a check, you can make it out to FCCB and write Christmas offering in the memo line. Please give generously. I now invite the ushers forward to receive the offering. Will you pray with me, please? Gracious and loving God, on this holy night, our season of Advent waiting comes to an end, and we complete our journey toward Bethlehem. We thank you, God, for the one who we meet in that manger. You, God, chose not to come with the strength found in mighty rulers, but with the power found in humility and vulnerability. You, God, live not in a far-off heaven, but are found this night in very real, very human lives. Gracious God, on this Christmas night, as you once again break into our midst, open us to receive you anew. Fill our hearts with gladness and inspire us to be bearers as well as receivers of your word. 
Remind us, God, that like Mary, each of us can carry your good news of love and peace. Stir our spirits so that we, like the shepherds, do not leave this night unchanged, but go out into the world proclaiming hope, bringing peace, spreading joy, speaking justice, and embodying love. As we wait in the silence of this holy darkness for your light to come, grant that we may allow this light to shine forth in our lives and in your world. Amen.
as you go forth into the silent and most holy of nights, may you bring with you and bear in your lives a radiant holy light. May the light of Christ shine in your lives and in your hearts, and may you bear that life and bring it forth into the world, for the world longs for, is searching for, peace, hope, love, and joy. Go forth into this holy night filled with the light of Christ. Amen. Thank you.